Hey there, this is Camosun Bog, and today we're going to learn how to sustain a bog like Camosun Bog. Before we begin, it's probably a good idea to learn what a bog is. A bog is a place that was once a big chunk of ice that melted and then became a lake and then a swamp. Then all the dead plants from the swamp prevented fresh water and sediment from getting into the swamp, then decayed and used up a bunch of oxygen which made a bog. Well, now you have a bog. And it's great. Everything is great. Knock knock. It's 17th and 18th century Europeans armed with new invasive plants and no respect for the bog or sustainability. Now we gotta fix it. Follow these simple steps and you can preserve the natural habitat that is the Camosun bog. Step 1. Know which plants are supposed to be here. Native species include Arctic starflower, bunchberry, cloudberry, bog cranberry, sundew, Labrador tea, Kalmia, lodgepole pine, Saskatoon berry, and Kiskara. Invasive species include Polytrichum moss, deer fern, sword fern, bracken fern, all the ferns, skunk cabbage, salal, juncus, and hemlock. Step 3. Because it keeps the bog acidic and wet, add lots and lots of sphagnum moss. No, more. No, even more. Even more. Yeah, that's good. Step 4. Don't throw stuff into the bog. Just don't. Step 5. Join conservation groups like the Crazy Boggers. They sustain the bog by doing things like monitoring water levels, removing invasive species, and just generally helping the bog be a happy bog. 